Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a very important topic, very simple, and that is how to file a Consumer Financial Protection Bureau complaint, better known as the CFPB. So a lot of times when you're disputing negative items on your credit report, you might need to escalate things to the CFPB. That way you can get your desired resolution. So I'm going to take you step by step on how to do this so that way you can take control of your financial future. So what I want you to do is to go on Google and type in CFPB and you're going to click on the first link that you see. Once you click on the link, the website is going to look like this. It's green with white and then towards the bottom, you're going to see a thing called submit a complaint about a financial product or service and you're going to hit start a complaint. Okay. And it's going to open up a page that looks like this. Submit a complaint. If you don't already have an account with them, you're going to hit start a new complaint. So you're going to click on that and then it's going to take you to a page where you're going to register so that way you can open an account. It's really simple. It's going to ask for your first name, last name, email, and you're going to create a password. You're going to sign up. Now I've already signed up, so I'm just going to go in to what it looks like after you sign up. So after you sign up, it's going to look like this. Submit a complaint. What is this complaint about? Okay, so if we're talking about credit, we're going to click on the third one down and it says credit reporting, credit repair services, or other personal consumer reports. We're going to click on that. We're going to go to the bottom and it's going to ask us what type of credit reporting product. And we're going to put credit repair services or credit rep credit reporting. So if you paid a company to help you dispute items on your credit report and they haven't come through and they're lagging, then you would click on the first one. But if you're doing this yourself, then you're going to click on credit reporting. You're going to click next and you're going to move forward. It's going to take a little bit of time and this is what's going to pop up. It's going to ask you what type of problem are you having now? The first one says incorrect information on your credit report, wrong address, fraud, incorrectly shows accounts still opening. The second one says problem with the credit reporting company's investigation into an existing proper uh, problem. And the third one says improper use of your credit report, shared without consent, credit increase from unknown sources. Most of the times, this is the one that I pick, okay, if we're disputing things that are erroneous on our credit report. Now, read the rest of them carefully and pick the one that best suits your needs. For example, this one says identity theft. So if you've been a victim of identity theft, you would pick this one, okay? So you're gonna go down and it's gonna ask you which best describes your problem. And the first one says reporting company used your report improperly. Most of the time, this is the one that I pick, okay? So go ahead and pick that one. And it's going to ask you, have you already tried to fix this problem with the company? Most of the times, whenever I escalate to the CFPB, it is because I've already tried contacting the collagen agency and they are not budging. They are unwilling to remove the negative. So yes, I click on yes. I go next. It loads a little bit. And then we get to this page. And it's going to ask you what happened. Describe what happened and we'll send your comments to the companies involved. Include dates, amounts, and actions that were taken by you or the company. Do not include personal information. So this is where you're going to write down what happened. Okay, so whether it be, you know, hey, I'm trying to dispute this because I've already contacted the collection agency on such and such date. I sent them this letter. They sent me this letter back saying they can't do it or it's been verified. However, I need to have this removed because of such and such law. Okay, so this is where you would put that and then you would click on here. And then what would be a fair resolution to this issue? Obviously, most of the times you want these negatives to be removed. So a good resolution would be to put, please remove or update my account. So that's where you would put that. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to type in a random letter so you guys can go and watch what the next step is. Now, if you have anything to show as far as proof, like documents, this is where you would upload them. 
And so I click next and it's going to bring me to the next page that looks like this. What company is this complaint about? Credit reporting company. Now, this is where you would put the company name. Now, you would do this three times, right? Because there's three credit reporting agencies. It's um, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. So I would put, let's say, Experian. I would put that on there. And then it's asking me what... We need this information to help the company find you in their system. And I would pick one right I usually pick social security number so that way they can locate me directly you could put your date of birth or the name as it appears on the credit report so i would put you know the last four digits of my social i just made a number up um and then it says you want to complain about another company you say no because again you're gonna do these exact same steps for the other two credit bureaus okay so you click next and you wait you wait you wait it's going to take you to a page that looks like this, which is a final, final page. It's going to ask you, hey, confirm your information so the company can respond to you about this complaint. Your first name, your last name, the country, your address, the city, the state, zip where you live, and a phone number. It is optional. Your email where they can best contact you. Optional if you want to put your age. Um, if you're a veteran, you would click that. Or if you're a spouse of a veteran click that um, and these last two are optional you know household size and combined annual income they don't need to know that so I skipped that and obviously it's not letting me go through because I didn't put any information but that is the final step and then that's it that is it if you want to make a complaint about like I said TransUnion or Equifax you simply go back and repeat steps one through five again now, if you like this video, if you like the tutorial, go ahead and give our page a follow and subscribe to our channel. We talk anything and everything, credit repair, finances, real estate, anything that has to do with bettering yourself in the financial sector, we will dive into it. So again, peace and watch out for our next video.